Well, another form of early education in Idaho is getting some potential funding attention from the legislative session. Back before they went on a COVID induced intermission, there was a bill brought up that would fund all day kindergarten for Idaho students. It was introduced by Republican Senator Carl Crabtree and Republican Representative Judy Boyle back on March 11th. It's been in the Education Committee since the following day and is still waiting for a hearing. It would add another $42.1 million to the state's yearly education budget, but could use federal COVID relief money to fund the first few years. As it stands now, Idaho only funds half day kindergarten programs. That doesn't mean full day versions don't exist. It just means the money to operate them has to come from somewhere else. And according to the State Department of Education, 88 of the state's 115 school districts offer some form of all day kindergarten and districts. Well, they have two options to pay for it. Either they pull together money from their general funds and other sources like literacy grants, or they charge parents tuition. According to our partners at the Idaho Press, the CUNA School District, for example, has participated in the first option for the last three years. And while districts like Boise and West Ada are charging tuition, that cost runs between $250 and $280 per month. And that's if you can get a spot. Some students are put into a lottery system because there just aren't enough spots available. Well, this bill may not eliminate tuition completely for full day kindergarten, but it certainly would help reduce it. House Education Committee Chair Representative Lance Clough of Twin Falls says the bill sponsors are working on a revised bill, which is expected to include the part about COVID cash helping to pay for it initially. And it is expected at least to get a hearing during the session's second act.